Our last story tonight is about the mighty sun. It is getting ready to roar, racing to reach the peak of its powers. I'm talking about what's called the solar maximum. The word reminds me of a Harry Potter spell, Lumos Maxima. You know, when the light being produced from a magic wand reaches its peak, it's almost blinding. Similarly, with solar maximum, solar activity reaches its peak. Theoretically, the process is quite interesting, and we'll explore more of that. But we know that its consequences can be hazardous, like extreme weather events and health problems. Yes, the sun can be dramatic, and scientists expect it to be. But they predicted the solar maximum to happen two years from now. So what has advanced it? And what does it mean? Our next report tells you. Let's shed some light on the one true star of our lives, the sun. It's humongous and glorious, source of all the heat and light. It makes flowers bloom and sunbathers swoon. Life wouldn't exist without it. You already know that. But did you know that it has been asleep for some time now? And hey, we totally get it. Stars need their rest. But now the sun has had its fair share of slumber. So it's awakening and causing a fair amount of unrest while doing so. We're talking about the solar cycle. It goes on for 11 years. And during this period, activity on the sun changes. It goes from being subdued to tumultuous and back to subdued. Basically, this forms a cycle of highs and lows, just like our moods. When the activity is low, it's called the solar minimum. When it's high, it's called the solar maximum. This story is all about the latter. But let's pause for a second. You must be wondering, why are we talking about the sun's moodiness? Because our lives literally revolve around it. And like most things sun, this affects us too. So we must keep up with its tantrums, including the solar maximum. And what does it do? It increases solar activity. There are explosions on the sun. This causes extreme space weather events. It can disrupt radio communications and have serious health consequences for astronauts. But this is not new. We witness these problems every time a solar maximum occurs. The last one was between 2012 and 2014. Thankfully, it was weak. In fact, it was one of the smallest in about 100 years. So the world relaxed. But guess what? The next solar maximum is coming. It was scheduled to arrive in 2025. But just like humans, the sun can be unpredictable too. New research says it may be feeling its highs sooner than expected. So the next solar maximum could happen by the end of this year or early next year. So the golden question is, should you be worried? Well, only slightly. It may affect mobile phone networks, GPS, and even internet services. There will also be changes in climate and the ozone layer. But unless you're an astronaut or the owner of a telecom company, you don't have a big reason to worry. In fact, solar maximum can be good news for you if you love observing auroras. You know, the northern and southern lights? They'll happen more frequently. But other than that, this event will have no major impact on your life. So grab your camera. Wait, this is not the 1900s. Just grab your phone and plan that trip for an Aurora viewing. Because who doesn't like an aesthetic Instagram feed? So get ready to make hay while the sun shines.